Alright guys, it's late, <laughs> so um, remember how yesterday I said how I was going to go to class and then we're going to go to the library afterwards, and we're just going to study and edit and write and stuff like that, I overslept by like 30 minutes, no, by like an hour, I overslept by like an hour, and at that point it takes me like 15 20 minutes to get ready if I, I'm not trying and then it takes me 30 minutes to drive over there So by that time I would have arrived to class Halfway through class and there's, there's just no point to that. I want to say I've been writing but I've been editing Eating Other stuff so I'm getting out of the house because my mom says, she's like, you're not gonna leave the house. It's too late for you to leave the house. And I'm like, I'm gonna leave the house just because you told me I'm gonna leave the house. I think someone's walking over here. And nope, no one's walking. Nope, just kidding, yes they are. Okay, well, I'll finish this later. My sister's driving me. She had to drop me off. And um, apparently they weren't expecting me to leave so early, so now I have to go grocery shopping with them. I didn't make a lot of progress, which really sucks because I'm trying to because I'm really far behind now. And it's like nothing's coming out of me anymore. Like I'm all over it now. But maybe it was also because I was really cold. And when I'm cold, I, 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 I can't do anything. How is this working? I'm so scared to move right now and I'm not even in the center. <sighs> You're balancing on my blinds and it's not very safely done, but it's better than holding it with my arm. Let's have a little update, shall we, about what's been going on. I don't remember what I said in the car, but Barnes Nobles was a total bust because it was way too cold in there for some reason. But I did get to look at pretty books. I love books. I love books. I think my problem right now is that I keep trying to um, perfect what I've already made and that's not really what I need to be doing right now. I need to be progressing in the book itself and instead I've just been working on the prologue. Yes, I'm still working on the prologue. For three days now I'm trying to add stuff and make sure I'm not forgetting anything and whatnot but instead I just need to be progressing through because I'm really not getting anywhere if I keep rereading what I'm doing and rewording it but I'm not adding word count or anything like that so I'm basically revising it before I need to be revising it which is such a hard thing for me to do. I'm always in the mood to be revising stuff and the fact that I can't do that is so hard but I need to just take a breather for a couple minutes which I actually did I haven't written in a couple hours so I'm gonna work on some homework right now and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna start on chapter one I don't know how far Natasha my co-author has gone because we're supposed to be using a Google Doc um, so that we're both able to edit and see what's going on and see how we're writing and put comments and stuff like that and it's just super versatile for how we write so they're great they're awesome and neither of us have posted what we've done on the google doc yet so i have no idea what's going on with her i know for a fact today um actually this entire week she's been working on her midterms so she's been studying super hard and i feel really bad at the fact that midterms is on the first week of NaNoWriMo but She's working hard and she doesn't have to get as many hours of sleep like I do. So she's she's okay with just getting a couple hours sleep and she can go to bed at like three in the morning, like no problem whatsoever. But then also she doesn't have to wake up at six in the morning. So that's probably why I'm feeling off. I think maybe it's because I'm really disappointed in how much writing I've been getting done, but I think 
moving on, moving forward in the book is gonna definitely help um, me with the word count problem and progressing along in the novel. This is my first year, so I'm still trying to get through the kinks and figure out a routine and a rhythm and whatnot. And taking a lot of breaks is good for me to write if I'm revising. Um, in terms of like writing new stuff, I just need to like watch something, get inspired for a minute, and then just like go, 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 go. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch some kind of a movie, um, maybe not the full thing, but get some kind of inspiration. And then I'm gonna start on chapter one because we already know what we're supposed to write and sh I'm supposed to write a section. I'm not gonna spoil anything. <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to write, and Natasha knows what she's supposed to write. So eventually, when we start posting our stuff on the doc itself, we'll figure out some kind of transition so that her part and my part blend in together perfectly fine, and it doesn't seem like it was written by two different people. I watched the movie. I chose Great Gatsby because I really wanted to be inspired by over-the-top designs and, and ideas and stuff like that. And also, F. Scott Fitzgerald is one of my favorite authors. Great Gatsby is my favorite book of all time and I absolutely love how he described things so well and so I felt as though watching the movie was going to help me in terms of writing. If you haven't noticed also, by the way, on a side note, I'm super lazy to be holding up my camera. So finding mini tripods around my room is just like, it's perfect right now. So I'm on the floor, you're on my desk, this is my bed. I also feel like you guys think that I'm possibly like in solitude confinement because all you ever see me is just in the gray walls, um, but I'm not. It's just because I really like my room <laughs> and I like my bed and I like sleeping and I like being home all the time. So that's why I'm here, like pretty much 99% of my vlogs, I'm here at home. 99% of, of the time I'm home, period, not just on the vlogs. I also wanted to read stuff for a split second and I didn't even want to read anything because right now I'm trying to read Rick Warden's Magnus Chase Gods of Asgard, right? And it's good. It's just I'm it's not grasping me right now as much as a Percy Jackson books were. The last thing I read was The Raven Cycle. That was back in I finished it in July because I got my book late. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, I've not been able to read anything since because that series like just took such a toll on me. The ending and everything like that, how invested I were into those characters is actually how I want the readers of this book that we're writing to be. Natasha's trying to give me a pep talk to try and keep writing because I was telling her about how I just, I wasn't feeling anything today. And I feel like I just burnt myself out too early and too easily, which is like stupid because I like, I haven't even done anything yet, so I don't really know. We're gonna try and write right now, and maybe that's it for today. <laughs> oh, I had such big plans for today and none of it came true, I'm so sorry about that. Tomorrow though, I have a tire rotation and an oil change and a tire alignment and I had to get Photoshop and I have to prep for a photo shoot that I'm having on Saturday and I'm gonna be out of the house pretty much the entire time so I'm either gonna be reading or writing because Toyota is gonna take like three hours to do my car. I don't know why it takes them so long to do that stuff, but it does. So I'm gonna bring my laptop and my charger, maybe even my hard drive so I can edit some stuff um, while I'm there who knows? We'll figure stuff out. So I'm gonna sign off for the night. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. I'm sorry this isn't how I wanted today to go, but we all have our ups and downs, I guess. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.